This year's Nobel Prize in Physics has been awarded to Elaine Aspect, John F. Clauser, and Anton Zillinger for their work on quantum information science. First things first, congratulations to all quantum scientists around the world for this huge achievement. Quantum mechanics have always been a surprise for many of us. Welcome to Futuristic Tech and AI. And today, we are here to present the work of prestigious Nobel Prize 2022 winners in physics. To understand the scientific details, we dig into the concept quantum spooky action, which is also called quantum entanglement. Once we understand quantum entanglement, then we move towards how Bell's theorem proved quantum entanglement back then. All this will help us to comprehend the experimental breakthrough of these pioneers in demonstrating Bell's inequality. What is quantum entanglement? Two particles in quantum mechanics are said to be entangled when one of the particles cannot be perfectly described without including all of the information about the other one. The particles are connected in such a way that they're not independent of one another. This led to the weird concept of local realism. In 1935, Albert Einstein, Boris Podolsky, and Nathan Rosen in their EPR paradox theorized that quantum mechanics may not be a local theory. Because a measurement made on one of a pair of separated but entangled particles causes a simultaneous effect, the collapse of the wave function in the remote particle like an effect exceeding the speed of light. Or in other words, there must be some local hidden variables. One example to make you imagine about entanglement is, suppose you're given two balls, one of which is white and the other one is black. If you somehow receive a white ball, then you instantly know the other ball is black. But wait! One tricky point is that properties of these balls are not fixed until they're observed. This means both balls are gray until observed. Einstein's statement was, Spukhafte Fernwirkel, spooky or ghostly action at a distance. Bell's theorem and Bell's inequality. Now we know what quantum entanglement is. Let's see what Bell's theorem tells us. In 1964, the ideas of entangled particles were taken much further by the brilliant theoretical physicist John S. Bell. By considering spin measurements along three non-orthogonal directions, which are conventionally labeled A, B, and C, and derived an inequality that is satisfied by local realistic theories, but violated by quantum mechanics. This inequality is experimentally testable. And to date, all experimental evidence has come down in favor of quantum mechanics. To put it simply, Bell's inequality states that if there are hidden variables, the correlation between the results of a large number of measurements will never exceed a certain value. However, quantum mechanics predicts that a certain type of experiment will violate Bell's inequality, thus resulting in a stronger correlation than would otherwise be possible. With my first experiments, I was sometimes asked by the press what they were good for. Zellinger, who's 77, told reporters in Vienna, and I said with pride, it's good for nothing. I'm doing this purely out of curiosity. John Clauser used calcium atoms that could emit entangled photons after he had illuminated them with a special light. He set up a filter on either side to measure the photon's polarization. After a series of measurements, he was able to show they violated a Bell inequality. Elaine Aspect developed this experiment using a new way of exciting the atoms so they emitted entangled photons at a higher rate. He could also switch between different settings so the system would not contain any advanced information that could affect the results. Anton Zillinger later conducted more tests of Bell inequalities. He created entangled pairs of photons by shining a laser on a special crystal and used random numbers to shift between measurement settings. One experiment used signals from distant galaxies to control the filters and ensure the signals could not affect each other. These marvelous results could be the path to a new era of quantum computation and information. Once you attain an entanglement, the next thing would be the practical implementation of quantum teleportation protocol for communication systems that are not distance-bound or time-bound, safe and secure. States cannot be cloned in quantum mechanics, refers to no cloning theorem. Entangled particles also play a huge role in quantum computer, which, by the way, can solve the problems too complex for classical computers. Too complex sounds a little fancy, I must say impossible. What are your thoughts about the video? Do you think quantum physics found its ultimate goal? Excited to learn more about the quantum world? And if you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to stay updated about new scientific discoveries in technology and artificial intelligence.